Hello and welcome to a new adventure into a world of plants. I want to introduce to you this bloodthirsty cactus. It's a cactus from the genus Cylindra Puntia, or the Chola cactus. I wasn't careful and I let myself get into trouble with this cactus. I stepped on it and as you can see from the bleeding and the bruising on my leg, this sneaky cactus habitats range from southern USA to Mexico, South America, and most Caribbean islands. So if you happen to be there, be careful and watch your step. Cylindra Puntia cactus is different from other cactus because it has spines, which has a ton of barbs, much like fishing hooks. And this cactus hides alongside the road or the trail in order to attack careless humans and animals. If you touch one of them, they form a long chain and attach to one another and they quite literally jump onto you. They have a spring effect which makes it look as if they are attacking you. They stick to your skin and your clothes and it is very painful. If you're going to try to free yourself, they will try to fight back and enter your skin deeper and deeper. When they get into the capillaries, it can cause bleeding, bruising, and maybe even a hematoma under the skin. Do not try to get rid of them with your hands. They will attach themselves to your finger. Use an instrument, a clamp, brush, gloves, or even a tree branch. Anything you have can do the job. So don't touch it yourself. These spines have a line of fish hooks. They only allow the spine to go in, in one direction. In this case, deeper and deeper into your skin. Be careful because they can easily break off and can become a splinter and cause inflammation and an infection. But don't worry, seawater often softens them and makes it easier to get them out. If you don't have access to seawater, you can make an Epsom salt bath at home and it will have the same effect. You will unlikely die from this cactus, but in a case where you fall onto a bush of cactus, there will be some consequences. Getting speared by one of these spines can cause swelling and redness. As a result of the swelling and the redness, the skin around that area might die and you might have to get that removed. Worst case scenario, it can cause gangrene or a really bad infection. You have to be extremely careful. I don't wanna have another bad experience with this cactus ever again. I removed the spines but they were still in there, and I had splinters for a long time after this encounter. The barbs made it so much harder to get them out. This whole process, attaching itself to animals and to humans, is for vegetative propagation. The top segments of the plant fall off, attach themselves to a human being or an animal, they spread, fall off again onto the ground, root themselves, and develop into new plants where they repeat the process over and over again and wait for another victim. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments, questions, and concerns below. And don't forget to subscribe.